Hey, I got a question today about how to have a camera follow a curved path with the Lean Tween editor. Uh, so I thought I'd walk through it in this video today. All right, I'm starting out here with an empty scene. Um, let's create some 3D boxes just so we have point of reference. Scale that up. Make it a little bit of a tower. Looks good. I'll make two of those. And maybe four. Oops. Cool. So now let's make a uh, curved path. You go to create, create other, lean tween path. And you can only do this with the Lean Tween editor. Uh, with the Lean Tween library, uh, you'll want to do this just through code. This is just helps make makes making paths easier. So you can do it in the editor. All right, so I'm going to stick with the Bezier path. Uh, you can also choose spline type. That's a little easier, but it gives you slightly less control, I find. Um, it come, starts out with a, a path that looks like that. Um, let's try to make it move through the, uh, the little buildings there. Um, I'm gonna start out over here. This is the end node. You can kind of, if you zoom in, you can kind of see the purple arrows and that's how you know what direction it's going. Uh, let's drag that out. I'm going to adjust that control point a little bit. Um, I actually want to have it more than just one point, so I'll do node after. And that gives me a second node to work with. And let's drag that out beyond the buildings. And I don't like that control point there either, so I'll move it up a little bit. And like that. Cool, so you have the path we want to move it along. Um, now we need to make this the camera move. Um, so we're going to the camera object, go to add component, and go to lean tween visual. You can also do this through code, um, but you could get, do it through code by finding the, um, the exported nodes and just drop that into your code but I'm going to do it all in editor today. Now you do go to new group um, and we have a new tween. You have to create and it starts off with move as a default. We need to do move um, on a Bezier curve. Uh, if you wanted, if we had picked spline, you would do move spline, but we have a type of Bezier curve. And then we have to tell it what path we want to move along. So drag this into there. And now it's hooked up. And it's going to go really fast. So let's make that time 10. So we can see it more easily in action. And I'm pressing play to see it, see it happen. There it goes, just like I promised. All right. So there's some other options too. We can have it, if we don't want to deal with time, we just want it to move at a consistent speed. You can say use speed. So I could give it a speed like three. And that way you don't have to think about how long the, uh, the path is and you can just have it go at a, a consistent speed regardless of how long the path is. There we go, see that? And it's on a linear type of easing right now, so it moves at a constant rate. But if we want to do something that's a little bit more dramatic, um, maybe I'll ease in and out quad. That's, quad's usually my go-to easing. So it's, he starts out slow, then goes fast, then it stops at slow again. That's sort of how easing works. All right, so that's the gist of it.